Good evening folks, it's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Sunday, July 29th at 10.41 p.m. Mountain Time 2018. You're looking at Al Gore's worst nightmare. These are the facts about Arctic sea ice, and you've been duped. Since 2010, Arctic ice has been growing. This is the October-November fall minimum time frame and you can clearly see the progression we're going to get to it and we're going to get to how they duped you based on el nino and that 2016 spike in just a minute welcome to the grand solar minimum ride of your life sunday morning's fog will be followed by thunderstorms possible baseball size hail in the afternoon what the hell could possibly be as large as baseballs oh hail East of Interstate 25 with 80 per mile per hour winds. Whew. It's a day shaping up to be the kind you want to put a hard hat on for. Let's check the hail map for Saturday, July 28th. That's yesterday. Check the numbers. Not a big day. So what I'm assuming is tomorrow's numbers are going to be epic because baseball size hail was predicted and there are no baseball size hails on yesterday's hail map. Just seven houses were hit by 1.7 inch hail or larger, 73 by one or larger, 256 impacted by 2.0 inch hail or larger. Whew. And yesterday we had a number of above 80,000 one inches or larger according to the insurance update. So we're going to be watching this closely. These numbers are going to increase, but we're talking over 3,000 people, 3,000 homes being impacted by two inch hail just yesterday and that's a hail report car fire has grown nearly to 100,000 acres firefighters are no longer in the defensive mode which is good news that means they're on the offense so this is well above 5% containment should be 10 to 15% in the morning despite discovering another car fire fatality firefighting officials were mostly upbeat about the progress they have made on the blaze on Sunday with no movement of the fire in the sitting of Reading Good news. I can tell you we're making great strides every day, said Car Fire Incident Commander Brett Goudeau, tapping himself on the back. Wildfire update, 100,000 acre wildfire threatened small Utah town. Whew, that's a blaze. And it's loading. Yeah, it's true. Salt Lake City, two major wildfires burning along the Utah-Nevada border in Box Elder Canyon have burned together to form a single 100,000 acre blaze. Now, this is huge. Fire officials say, <laughs> and so does me. Nevada China Jim Fire, the Goose Creek Fire, combined Saturday evening, forming a fire that measures 156 square miles. Yes, that's a lot of fire. Let's go in on the area just west of Salt Lake, Grouse Creek, Utah. This is a boring video, but it's got these pop-up windows, so we'll let it play. We'll see if it gets anywhere. Boom! Yes. So these two fires have come together in epic proportion. What is that? Is that a picture? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Must be their honeymoon. Wow, they keep getting bigger. They must know what they're doing at this Firewatch channel. Thank you, Stan Summers. You're amazing. Now, someone sent in. Let's just pause this. Someone sent me in a question here, and they said, what could possibly be burning? This is near the Nevada test site. What could be burning here? Um, creosote bush. It's filled with extremely flammable oils, and you can see the creosote bush line right here clearly on fire. Now, these are concentrated versions of pine trees. Now, the creosote oil in the pine allows live pine needles to sparkle and burn. I'm sure you've done it in a campfire. If you haven't, you need to be learning how to camp and burn live pine needles. But the creosote bush is even more deadly. These toxic fumes would kill you um, and also smell like a shaman's sweat lodge. But needless to say, in the middle of nowhere, the sage and the creosote burn. There's some fire info. There's a chopper, some smoke. It looks amazing. There's also, look at all these dry grasses. Look at all the trees here on the ridge. If you don't think there's anything to burn in this region, you've never been in this region. I did my field camp out in this area and 
it's hot and dry. Weather Ready Nation map, dangerous hail, fire weather threat continues to plague the west. Strong storms and heavy rain from the plains to the southeast. A dangerous heat wave will continue across... Uh, the west here, bringing very hot temperatures and dry humidity from California to the Pacific Northwest early in the week, and it will be quelched by the Grand Solar Minimum. As the cool temperatures dip into the craton, numerous wildfires will continue to burn, especially in California. Additional hot and dry conditions exacerbated by this ongoing threat. There will be other pop-up fires in the next several days. We're going to be watching it closely. Luckily, the car fire has is being contained as we speak. Perry fire grows overnight north of Reno. Evacuations continue. It's true. Here's the Sunday update. The size of the Perry fire southwest of Pyramid Lake grew overnight. It could be as large as 18,000 acres. Crews are flying the fire line. We'll have more precise size before 10 a.m. The fire is estimated at 15% contained and there is no one in sight. Maybe a few buildings. White screen. Hey, Australia, cold front forecast to bring snow and hail to Western Australia. August is forecast to arrive with a clout, with a cold front sweeping through Western Australia. Almost looks like a lace plume. It may be on, <laughs> it, look at this headline, global warming much? It may usually be the coldest month of the year, but with temperatures pushing 20 C. That's not what the article's about. Let's get to the weather. August is forecast to arrive with a clout, with a cold front sweeping through western Australia, bringing chilly temperatures and even hail and snow to some parts of the state. Perth has enjoyed the global warming, unusually so far, with a maximum of 19.2. However, Wednesday, the bomb has forecast a cold front to hit, with temperatures barely reaching 3. A previous forecast for snow flurries last month failed to deliver, meaning it could be the first snowfall of the season. In Perth, it will be a night with an extra blanket, with the mercury dropping to 7. During the day, the winter woolies will still be needed, with the maximums only getting to 16. Meanwhile, those inland will experience the coldest temperatures of the state. In Collie, Thursday morning is forecast to be as cold as 1. While in Naragan, it could drop to just 2. And that is predicted and the global temperatures are dropping very rapidly thanks to the sun you are here you're not going anywhere for a very long time kids unless you die in the morning we want you here we need community you're learning all this for a purpose typhoon number 12 took a rare path not seen in the record books oh well that's because they were written after the dalton minimum when the last time the sun shut down now the path of typhoon number 12 is completely unheard of grand solar minimum much you are here yeah right here and we still have a year and a half of this down 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 into the deep minimum of cycle 24 how will it unfold? <coughs> it's anyone's guess, but cosmic ray flux are up in Japan. Typhoon Jongardi cuts powder 150,000 homes. The severe storm hitting central and western Japan has injured 31 people and cut power to 150,000 homes. It's true, totally fluxed. Plus a little extra typhoon action. That was coming from Electroverse. Thank you, guys. Let's try to load some of these so we don't get bored. Tribune Media, four pilgrims washed away in flash floods. Let's go to the map. Two Kinar Kalish pilgrims, including a woman from Pune, were washed away in flash floods in the Kangrang Nola near Tulang village in Kanor district on Saturday. Whew. We're getting the pictures. Heavy rain triggered landslides blocking roads and disrupting power supplies. A 43-year-old woman from Pune identified as Sangeet Morja was washed away in the waters of the swollen Kangvalangnula. There it is. These were steps. And they're living on a cliff, so that's just a sucky place to be. Especially in heavy rains. Drought triggers up to 20% potato loss. No rain there. Potato farmers have been struggling to deal with the drought conditions as high crop losses are expected. Potato famine much? This is in Ireland. As drought conditions continue, Tech Scott estimated 20% of his potatoes could be lost. 
I did a video today of my potatoes are being lost. We're being hit probably 50% here in the desert. But what do you want? I don't water them. <laughs> the lack of rain has halted growth in the region and fears are growing that losses could be greater than 20% in some regions. Only a quarter of the crop is irrigated. None of mine. So, heads up. Potato famine much? It is increasing. If you do not notice the crop losses globally increasing, then you are absolutely have cotton in your ears. Extreme weather puts spotlight on viability of high production farming model. Now, this has been going on for decades and it's about to collapse. And now they're just checking the viability. Uh, now that there's 8 billion people, boom, on the earth. Sounds like a bunch of idiots are running the planet and to the ground at time immemorial has happened. He's so happy that the empire is ending that I'm sick of it. We're not even going to read this. This is complete nonsense. Yeah. Losses. Huge. Indonesian earthquake, 14 dead on tourist island of Lombok. We predicted this 12 hours before the deadly quake struck. Had they listened to us, people could have gotten out of harm's way. However, they're in a remote region. Powerful earthquake has struck a popular tourist destination of Indonesia, killing at least 14. The 6.4 magnitude quake was predicted 12 hours earlier by the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on solar shutdown and other networks on social media. The island attracts tourists from around the world due to its beaches and hiking trails. More than 160 people are injured, thousands of homes damaged, and the entire place liquefied. That's liquefaction. Landslide. Yeah. Boom. Don't be in harm's way. The jig is up. We're going to get to it. Seismic update. The whole world is rocking. The ring of fire is rocking. People are in there everywhere. This is not coming up. <laughs> Noctilucin clouds are behaving strangely. We're going to get to this, but this is where we really need to be. We have a 5.3 explosion at the Kilauea Caldera. Ongoing event. Could be happening for months, if not years. We have some activity here in the uh, Cascadia zone, specifically the Mendocino fracture area, 5.3 off the Oregon coast, subsequent minor aftershock, 4.4 in the same region. We also have San Andreas activity up to 4.0 down in Mexico. Ho, ho. And Santa is not there. He's still freezing his arse off up in the Arctic. And we're going to get to it. Now, these noctilucent clouds are behaving strangely. They're appearing after the typical noctilucent cloud season. Now, these normally begin to dim in late July, but they're, in fact, increasing. So, we're going to be watching this closely. I saw noctilucent clouds for the first time in my life here at the ranch a week ago. And we're watching closely for more outbreaks in August as the electric universe theory unfolds before your very eyes and clouds in the upper stratosphere that are being nucleated by cosmic rays are illuminated by the setting sun the skies are changing kids thank you electric electroverse the discovery of your anus and why it's such an oddity well because it's behind you and you need to be very flexible never mind so Uranus is the first planet to be discovered since antiquity, but it still continues to surprise us today. You know why? Because the Babylonians know about it. Now how do, did they know? <laughs> Not only that, if you follow the work of Dave Talbot, it is quite clear that ancient humanoids worship Saturn. It was the polar sun. It was the northern sun. Even the Egyptians, Atun. So what, what you're being taught about Saturn is a complete lie. It was rediscovered again and again in the 1600s and 1700s, called a comet in the 1800s. But thousands, tens of thousands of years ago, the ancients revered this planet as our sun. A sun that was in a stationary northern orbit above the planet. It never set. 
it always glowed. It was the original God. Get the facts. Go over to thunderbolts.info. We'll leave you links below. Let's talk about Turbulent, the most profitable micro hydro power plant. You need 1.5 meters ahead and you're in business. Inspired by nature, delivering clean, decentralized energy to everyone at low cost without harming the environment. And when an EMP hits and fries the grid and we go back to the Stone Age, you're going to be at maximum output. Yep, and if you're in a rural region where there's no zombies, nobody eating babies, you're going to survive and thrive in the wilderness with us. Check out Turbulent, and that's a boom. Man-made global warming hoax exposed Arctic ice sheet increases 920,000 square miles in one year. This is from 2012 to 2013. Facts, 5.62 million square mile kilometers of ice. That's an increase of 43%. This is going into 2014. Bad news, Al Gore. The ice cap is falling off a cliff. It could be completely gone in summer in seven years from now. That's, that means you're a liar. Ice has actually been increasing since you won the Nobel Prize in epic fashion? No wonder you bought an oceanfront mansion, you in dick. Who is the most responsible for the Arctic ice melt? Well, according to this map, it's you. And that's a lie. Because Arctic ice is building at record levels. Here's today's number from the Greenland ice sheet above multi-decadal building now above zero at the lowest melt point in the summer. Yeah, it's at winter levels in the summer. Look at how high it is. How high are you? Not high enough. Sea ice thickness, 28th July, eclipsing 2014 ice levels. Are you picking it up? It's above multi-decadal highs for the first time in 20 years. This is the average to 2004 and it's above it. <laughs> they can't lie much longer. The jig is up. It's true. You better start preparing. Check out Abundant Harvest Food Security, Growing Your Own Food in Uncertain Times by Bill and Richard Porter. Now this book is about 800 hours worth of research to get the cutting edge information from market gardeners, permaculturalists. These techniques are drawn from the most successful insights from these specialists. This will geometrically improve your crop yield. We're about to release an Indiegogo with a solar grow cart that does the work of 30 people off grid. Yes, and you can make it EMP proof and we'll let you know how. Learn how to enhance your soil, biodiversity, biodynamic farming, aquaponics, hydroponics. Abundance is the key here to survive and thrive in the future. The mainstream's not going to help you. World governments are lying to you. I just showed you the facts, and it's embarrassing. The jig is up. This means the deception or the scheme has been exposed and it's over. It's over, Johnny. The mainstream is predicting the sun to shut down and it is going to continue to diminish for centuries. As a glacial geologist, I can tell you that the last Compares, direct comparison of the past four interglacial periods show that the current moment you are on a two to three degrees C temperature drop on the earth has occurred the last three processional cycles. Right now, three degrees C ends the empire. It's over. The jig is up. Start preparing now. If you want to survive and thrive in the future, you don't have a lot of time.
Temperatures have dropped almost a degree C in the last two years. The reason the ice didn't continue to build is because of a strong El Nino here and here. But that's over. The AMO, the PDO is shutting down. The magnetosphere is waning. The shun, the sun is shutting off. All this is happening independently, but unfortunately at the same time. The temperature is not going to recover. Maybe a small perturbation. But it's going down. It's going down for thousands of years. In fact, in the next 4,000 years, it's going down 9 degrees C. That's full glaciation. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Plant a seed. Build community. Be safe. We love you.